Well, the Jackson County prosecutor says the people of Waldo should feel safer tonight. Prosecutors charged 23-year-old James Kemp in connection to two attacks in Waldo, both on or near the trolley trail. Amy Holly is live in Waldo with details on that story. Hi, Amy. Hi, Elizabeth. Police tell us today and prosecutors also say that James Kemp worked at this Wendy's restaurant right off of Warnell, right across the street from the trolley trail where I'm standing, a real popular jogging trail here in Waldo. Back in June, they say Kemp duct taped a 54-year-old woman and sexually assaulted her on a wooded part of this trail. And then about a month later, they say he attacked a 20-year-old woman at a car wash near the trail. She fought her way to a, a safe escape. Now, we talked to his wife today who lives with Kemp here in Waldo, and she took Told us the police took tape and the gloves from her house. And she said her husband just doesn't have the character of an attacker. No violence, no nothing. He's not that kind of person. He never will be. I'm proud to be his wife and his innocent. Now, police tell us that they do believe they have a very solid case. He lives not too far from this Wendy's that you're looking at right off of uh, Warnell. And it was at their house that police say they swabbed matching DNA, fingerprints. One of the victims apparently ID'd him positively this morning in a lineup. And they say Kemp has confessed to both crimes. Police rushed the DNA test through, and they told us this because they knew people here in this Waldo area who have also seen recent sexual assaults in other cases in this area have been very nervous about getting these solved. So they rushed these through. James Kemp goes to court tomorrow. In Waldo, Amy Holly, NBC Action.